This is the TS3 Cine, made by Fast Tech and distributed by Rule Boston Camera out of Boston, although we're going to go national with it. We're looking to sign on resellers and distributors around the country. It's a fully equipped, self-contained, high-speed camera. It has an internal 128 gig hard drive, so you arm the camera. When you see the event about to happen, you trigger, and it begins to fill up a RAM buffer. Once the RAM buffer is filled, you can then decide to commit that to the hard drive in multiple flavors. We've got a TIFF stack, bitmap, JPEG, AVI, and even a Cinema DNG RAW file for people that want to do color grading after the fact. It's in RAM, so I commit it to the hard drive any multiple times. So if I could save one as a DNG RAW, and then maybe just one as a JPEG. So once you're done with that, you've got it committed to the hard drive, you go back to the camera mode, and you're ready to keep shooting. At the end of the day, when you're finished, I've got a door on the side that pops open. I've got a high-speed Ethernet connection. I've got a USB and um, even an SDHC card as a way of getting the material off the camera and into my editing system. Uh, and most of the editing systems, Avid, uh, Sony Vegas, Final Cut, they all accept JPEG stacks and Cinema DNG, so you can get in, do your color grading, do your ramping, and you've got some great looking HD high-speed footage. Quick and easy, it's lightweight, it's ready to run and gun. It's a, it's a great solution for sports, for action shots, commercial work, uh, and frankly, even corporate industrial, where folks love to see the hot new look in their corporate video. This brings it to a level where everyone can work with it. This one that you're looking at is a, a Zeiss CP2 with a PL mount. We also have a Nikon mount, and then each camera also has a, uh, a C mount that you can, you can screw in. It's really easy to import, so you, you bring it off, you have a folder, which is a series of stills, basically, and it, they're, they're numeric, so you just point to the first still, and if it'll bring in a series of stills, it'll just drop the whole thing in as a video clip. And then it's easy to cut that clip in places and ramp it, you know, so you get that nice look of regular speed, and then quickly cutting to the nice slow motion shot. It's got a one inch imager, so it's got a really decent depth of field. Uh, it's pretty good in low light, although just like any high speed camera, you really need to give it a lot of light. It loves to be outdoors, so out in the sunshine is perfect. Uh, and indoors, just you know, give it enough light. The, the faster the frame rate, of course, the, you know, the darker the image is and the more light it would require. But um, you, you can have a nice LCD screen on the back, so it's relatively easy to see what you're looking at. And then there's an HDMI out, which you could tap for a monitor or an eyepiece, and you can even record that off to an external recorder. This will do uh, 720p HD video at up to 720 frames per second. The camera can technically go to 20,000 frames per second, but you sacrifice resolution, so you've got a very small image. Uh, originally designed for manufacturing and things like that on assembly lines, we brought it to HD video, uh, and so that frame rate comes down to about 700 frames per second.